Today, we told you that if you carry at least one taster allele, PTC should taste bitter, and if you don't carry a taster allele, PTC should taste like nothing. But for a subset of students who complete this lab, their taster phenotype will not align with their TAS2R38 genotype. What's going on there? When we learn genetics, we learn that the traits you have depend on your DNA, but this is often an oversimplification. Most phenotypes are influenced by a complex combination of both genetics and the environment. For example, human height is influenced by many genes, but it is also highly dependent on environmental factors such as diet. PTC tasting is a rare example of a taste phenotype that is linked to a single gene. We know people experience many foods and tastes differently, but PTC is one of the few examples for which we can link those differences to underlying genetics pretty clearly. The majority of people with the little t, little t genotype report that they cannot taste PTC, and the majority of people with a big t allele report that they can perceive PTC as bitter. But scientists estimate that a person's TAS2R38 genotype only holds about 70% of the influence over their PTC taster phenotype. That means that there are other factors that can play a role too. In some people, other regions of the genome may impact PTC perception. In other people, something as simple as having a dry mouth might affect the ability to taste PTC. 